the Royal Navy is experiencing a resurgence. The introduction of two new aircraft carriers, HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales, is a major factor. These are the largest ships ever built for the Royal Navy. This investment shows a renewed focus on naval power after years of budget cuts. They are designed for the F-35B fighter jet, making them a formidable force. The Royal Navy is entering a new era with these carriers at the heart of it. The world is watching as the Royal Navy reasserts its strength. The Queen Elizabeth class carriers are a testament to this ambition. The Queen Elizabeth class carriers are technological marvels. Displacing 65,000 tons, they are the largest warships in Royal Navy history. They use a stow bar system with a ski jump ramp. The carriers can carry up to 72 aircraft, including F-35B Lightning II jets. They are well defended with advanced systems like the Phalanx close-in weapon system. A testament to British engineering, they are ready for 21st century challenges. The Queen Elizabeth class carriers project British power globally. This is vital in a changing world where the UK needs to protect its interests and support its allies. The carriers are a visible symbol of British strength, capable of responding to crises anywhere. They can support humanitarian missions and deter aggression. The presence of these carriers alone is a powerful tool, showing the UK's commitment to global security. The F-35B jets enhance this capability, allowing strikes deep into enemy territory. The carriers are a key part of the UK's defense strategy. They strengthen relationships with NATO allies and can operate alongside US Navy carriers. This increases interoperability and shows solidarity. The Queen Elizabeth class carriers are more than just ships. They are strategic assets. They help secure the UK's place in the world. The carrier's ability to project power globally is unmatched. They are a testament to the UK's naval strength and strategic vision. The Royal Navy's global reach is significantly enhanced by these carriers. The Queen Elizabeth class carriers are expensive, leading to criticisms. Some argue that the money could be better spent on smaller, cheaper ships. The carriers have high maintenance costs and require a large crew. However, supporters argue that the strategic benefits outweigh the costs. The carriers are a long-term investment, allowing the UK to respond to future threats. They also support the UK economy by providing jobs in shipbuilding and related industries. The debate about costs is likely to continue, but the UK government remains committed to the carriers. They are seen as a vital part of the UK's defense and a symbol of global ambition. The carrier's capabilities justify their expense. They represent a significant investment in the UK's future security. The carrier's strategic value is immense. They are a necessary part of the UK's defense strategy. The long-term benefits of the carriers are clear. Only time will tell if they were worth the cost, but their potential is undeniable. The Queen Elizabeth class carriers mark a new era for the Royal Navy. They symbolize British naval power and commitment to global security. These carriers project power globally and support diverse missions. They are a valuable asset to the UK and its allies. The carriers are already making a difference, strengthening the UK's position. The carrier's impact on global security is significant. They represent a new chapter in the Royal Navy's history. The Royal Navy is poised for a new era of strength and influence.